We're going to continue with um, the afternoon session. And um, we'll start with Raza and uh, Daniel, who are joining us officially from Innsbruck today, apparently, as representatives of Austria. But they're also teaching at the Bartlett um, uh, with the large city architecture um, research. Yeah. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, good afternoon. So, um, okay, yeah, uh, we represent actually yeah, large uh, architecture, large city architecture research, so which we conduct actually on yeah University of Innsbruck and 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 the Bartlett with uh, uh, studios research clusters and so on, and we'll mangle that with our own projects. So it was a bit unfair from Jill, actually, to tell in the beginning that no one wrote actually manifesto. And because anyhow, we have a little bit too less time for, we, we actually got told we have uh, much, much more time. So I will, instead of like making like really long theory talk, you know, which would be my part always, um, I just read simply that manifesto thing. It's my first reading in a lecture ever. So excuse me. So it's, like, it's called the Maison Partino Manifesto. So for people to be able to dwell Values have to be captured in cells habitating human agency. Therefore, the moderns partitioned the city into volumes, voxels containing human speculations, estates which can be traded with ease. In our cities, digital economies intensify trade by shrinking that what cannot be traded, the public, and by shrinking that what is traded, estates turned into micro-vessels and coffin-like capsules. That what demands more creates less to dwell with. Brutally automated markets are oriented towards the exchange of human speculation, but not towards people. To be continued, my uh, couple quote, um, the sheer brute force of competition will shrink the parts of the city further. The Internet of Things makes the city conscious by linking sensors, interfaces, and protocols. When buildings, when building parts begin to talk, they want to partake in the world as well. All too soon, things want to trade more than just the vessels of human desires. Houses want to be inhabited, walls want to compart, stairs to be walked, windows to frame, and people want to dwell. The sheer pluralism of exchange might shrink people into birds. Peer-to-peer -peer economies, or better, part-to-part -part habitats, shape values through an ecology, through a forest of participatory capacities. When numbers dwell, the house is not anymore a domus, that what is contained, but that what partakes in, a maison patino. In such a forest, trees are not the raw blocks to build the huts of the moderns, but with computation, the modern huts turn into trees, leaves, and twigs, and with this, people into birds. It was a kind of attempt from minimum, like uh, uh, doing a kind of um, manifesto. This was a manifesto? This was a manifesto, right? uh, which relates in a way like to, to that uh, project, what we exhibit or what we bring with actually Russell's project completely to the, to the exhibition. So, to this later, okay. <clears throat> so right, like we, we, we shortened this, so um, usually I, I do this much more serious, like arguing like we, uh, with, with urban design and you know, how you have actually already with the Nolly plan, no? it's not like romantic black and white plan or like mass void distribution, but with the ratio actually the first kind of urban computation, no? where you actually, it's, it was good like for, for thinking a city, but also it's reduction, no? like here, yeah, the, the interesting is like the indexing, you know, which relates now, like turns everything into a property. You know? Everything now, which can be taxed or not taxed, which is private and public, but by this, like, actually the plan. You know, actually, Nolly plan looks like so. You know? Just is actually the first, in a way, like extra sheet, we would today call it. Like a way, like, it was the first kind of computational machine to understand it, like, economically. You know? And any, any big, like, uh, 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 urban model, you know, here the same, indexes, being laid out no, and so on, and um, enables you actually um, a form of economic condition. No? So any urban form is always related. Or here you stack then the cells. No? This is the capitalist mean of, of, of the city. No? Like just stack cells. 
Uh, then you have the, the interface. So what is the city left? Is the window, uh, Corbusier. You look outside, you look inside, and that helps you to index in a way the value of that property, of that cell, or what you today call a voxel or whatever you call it. Like, not, and um, so that in, for, for, for this kind of zombie earnestness, all this real estate this speculation need nothing more. And so they get also built and speculate and traded. You have this nice perspective, no? just like looking to the outside, looking to the inside, no? or you're looking at it. No? So it's like it's not for people anymore at all. No? So this. And yeah. As a, a digital design tool, or when we speak about the, the, uh, design, we have a definition of objects, mostly based templates. We are choosing uh, the data, so housing, working definitions, like to some kind of functional uh, definitions, which limits are also narrowed. Uh, it's narrowed out to limited definition, what uh, urban, suburban, central, like giving this definitions and even the dream house which it seems today very much various choices to everyone we can design our own rooms we can choose the materials we can choose the sizes we can have realistic quality of uh, interior spaces with furnitures and that technology which we have even brings us to the uh, VR, virtual reality to see it. But at the end, with our technology, we end up like 100 years ago design aspects. Thinking. Also, that's, that's, that was digital in a way, no? Like you take what exists and then you, in a way, like you begin to shrink, optimize, no? And that's, of course, like problematic when you take it like now with a floor plan, no? There's like a award winning project in London from last year, no? For single person, 13 square meters is completely sufficient today. Uh, so it looks like maybe, or so, let's find the housing market. So and then that's what I told in the beginning, how that uh, it continues. Of course, you want to demand more. So you have this, at first, like you have this parasitic, uh, uh, like Airbnb, and it's like, it really like begins to occupy the interiors where you see like this all, all spatial paradigm completely falls apart. Uh. So I say you have now the building topologies, right? it's not even optimization, completely opposite. You see how it presses into the interior, like the spaces, no? And it's like the next step, no? Like you go now from cloud computing to di distributed computing, no? Next kind of like AI, like combined with uh, 5G, uh, smart of uh, 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 things and so on. You get now really like, uh, means like everything begins to get smart conscious and you have like distributed uh, uh, forms of things. So on. And the consequence of this, of course, is like that you have actually the whole building in itself will in a way like compute and partake in a city. So now and how you begin to address this as an architect, so here comes merge in point that like you take in kind of like, uh, you look into history of, of architecture, like and look to where the moments where something begins to partake, to belong, to interlock, or how like things in a way like relate to each other. No? So this builds on a, on a work, so that was a book like three, 2016 was uh, published, like based on my PhD, like exactly actually four years ago, like presented. So now, that, which then uh, says like, okay, the part of modernism isn't really part from modernism, but in a way, looking in a way from modernist way, like now scanning like for uh, uh, existing building environment and looking actually for kind of like, what can be partake, what can be common, what can be shared, what can be blah, 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 like uh, being like understood as a, as a part relation. Huh? So I see like it's actually, uh, it's pretty simple when you begin that, Today, with, uh, with also the performance, how you can uh, draw and rotate and understand buildings. No? Here, for example, Hatzberger's like, school, like why is that urban? Because you have this plenty of, of situations to, 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 to meet, no? or like being actually uh, as, a, as a, a citizen or already as a, as a kid. No? And then so like the, the building itself as something urban turns into, no? when you begin to sample into this like, kind of like uh, you have now, this kind of like that what's public as as one figurative. Form, huh? So unless like, like one analyzes what we do or research, like looking now for that for that moment, what actually is in a historical sense in a way like partic or has this potentiality actually for for partaking with. No? Super romantic, of course, is super historical, no? that the house is a city, city has a house, and so on. But it's always metaphorical when you look to history books, and you get like, yeah, Alberti, this church is like part of a city, and uh, it's like a house, blah, blah, blah. And it's actually super simple when you more like uh, begin to understand its relation really to, to the context, to the city, where you see like it's, it's completely obvious kind of, of nesting. 
which of course relates to a way like how you count, how you understand actually number theory at that time. No? The skill counting, which was of course in itself like figurative. So I have already like very traditional architecture built on like an image of like a, a figure in with it's like this nesting kind of form of, of a figuration. So again, also modern still, they understood this. It's just what was never taught in a way again, no? where you have like a relation between like a house and like it's this unfolding as a, its one settlement. No? You can a bit update this into commutation and look now like what kind of like changes begin in a way like to also to map out into a, into a, a floor plan or into like a, a, in a three dimensional uh, form. And even narrowing down, uh, the, uh, just experimenting with geometrical relationships in a design studio here, the intro, uh, introduction to the architecture course with students, we experiment with uh, spatial relationships. And here, even in simulation methodology, you can have a recognition in the relationship as an interlock and stabilization moments. And at the same time, that freedom allows us to scale up from structural uh, till, uh, uh, to, from structural till um, uh, like urban aspect or larger scale, take the units, what the architects did already. So through uh, here, the relationship is more like a character, density, figurative moments, a spatial matters and endless variations are possible in that way. In a further step, it will be scalable in an architecture scale. What we experiment as well with our um, lab LEDs by ourselves, testing those moments like uh, public spaces and various, uh, those various moments uh, expressing these relationships into spatial diagrams and uh, applying that into the building moment. Those experiments we do by ourselves to test it in a, in a right scale, even the simplest element as a stick could be grouped and through the digital design techniques we can even turn this in atmospheric moments. So groups of elements lay to each other, they interact with each other and uh, in the project they can turn simply not as an object disconnected but embrace the space into the forest. So the structure is a seat, is a window, is an entrance and embrace the our uh, uh, proposal further for uh, Prague Biennale. Yes, also like this, this party, party no would be something that you have like a middle form of, of computation. So here like have spatial computation. So here have, like you have one outside, you have one inside. Nah, not only one. Of course you have a sequence that you don't have a binary distinction. Nah, not just segregated. So you introduce like a sequence and like a moment of architecture that you have a corner condition. And then you begin to, in a way, like compute uh, uh, now uh, uh, forms of plans, and of course, like a plenty of plans, or even like, of course, there would be an infinite number of uh, of uh, plan con conditions. Uh, so when you now like begin like this in a way, like uh, of course you you try now to overcome. Not it's not a, a, a search for for differentiation at first, but like what are forms of different programs you can now uh, begin to, uh, uh, to unfold uh, with that form of uh, computation. So the parts are open, non-defined at the beginning. The, res the resonance between the parts gives us the options of the gap. So it's simply opposite the logic of thinking of building block. We can use for high density those gaps as an atmospheric uh, thing. So it turns the, uh, the, the project which we propose, it turns by itself into urban landscape in the high densities. So the numbers dwells, the parts are dwelling, and even the smallest scale, simplest wall participation from outside and inside creates this urban interiorities. So we propose for simplicity these um, various endless variations for housing, which is quite intense, but at the same time, time is not defined by cost evaluation, it creates also exclusive uh, living without any cost definition. So numbers dwells, the design methodology dwells, and parts of the building turns like to the leaves in the forest. So we propose this forest as an uh, endless variation of urban landscape for people to dwell. Okay, a few projects further. 
Uh, so learning, learning from history, learning like forms of, of computing. Uh, begin to outline it. So like, hey, what, what kind of what I want to achieve? Like for example, navigation or like you no know, cross. And of course, learning means like of course, like you turn it into your own. Uh, you begin to occupy it in this your own. And you begin to like to mix. Now, like design is now we like uh, begin to to mix uh, uh, that part. Yeah, a bit too much mixing. Good mixture, no? And then, okay, maybe I have like some articulation. I say, hey, this goes into something like where I want to have uh, articulate building form. You do this not aesthetically, just of course. Now you begin like to to let a machine look into that forms of uh, uh, connectivity or take a sun exposure, take like the the ratio between different uh, floor areas and so on and so on. Of course, like more important, like interesting is when you like throw it back to like uh, with a furnishing or let us even like uh, a compute with furnishing. What kind of like new kind of programs you actually be, can begin to compute with that. Yeah? But here, like more distinctive a project like in, which looks into uh, uh, economic uh, uh, means, like when you really begin to, to apply uh, distributive uh, monetary systems or like form of property relationship. Yeah? So, what is now, what is shared, what is private as a relation, you look into this like full computation in this kind of like, like patterning, in this kind of like, okay, what kind of form of distributive model or not, how I set it up, like would actually, which kind of form it actually creates. So it's also, there's a research by design. It's also like a, a research of thinking with architecture. So like creating knowledge on what kind of like, maybe like an extra uh, ratio on uh, uh, like, yeah, what, what money is. But like uh, you begin now to to unfold it, like what reform simply, what would it mean in its application in a in an urban region? So that's by this, like you have also again like a, a new kind of or different agency uh, on a, on the politics as an architect as a designer. No? You further on, you direct, of course you act as a designer. You begin to to work it out, elaborate it, like you no know, very distinctive uh, section plans. We hear like a proposal as a as a distributed uh, uh, common um, building project. Um, so interested like we, like what kind of new uh, typologies as a form, like new like economic means as a, from an urban or as an urban form actually can be, can be produced. Right? But interesting is when you partake something which is of course to be too big, to be actually taking in, so something like like sun exposure, no? which was like modernism was super easy, or like was always the, the most reduced form. Like no, you make a decision on on on, on one uh, a single local situation, and then of course it was very easy to scale it up. Right? So this was modernism. This is then still modernism. No? There's like one of course like to break these hierarchies. Like I think is one of the urgent uh, urban problems. No? But of course, like such uh, uh, local conditions doesn't mean that the room not itself like has to be disconnected first like with this hierarchy or structure, structural thinking of like what the building is or building topology. Huh? So here you see like you know, like arrangements which are like now uh, a similar way like reacting to a, uh, to a certain form of sun exposure and so on. So now they're able like to put this actually into, uh, into the design uh, uh, decisions and begin like to figure out right now we like uh, a new forms of uh, of buildings. Uh, you can also nest this. Uh, it's like kind of segment building with building with building. Uh, of course, like also different projects. Like uh, you begin like uh, also that uh, different design movements and so on. So uh, and of course, like interesting in that moment is like what kind of density actually you can achieve. What you when you just think limited way as a modern as a in section or so could never never ever paint. And of course, like it's not not only like large scale, but when you understand such forms of computation, it enables you also to think actually existing as like something that could compute or so. Like here, like as a proposal, they say, hey, I have like a, a, a wind wind funnel which actually creates now ventilation effect for also for for the neighborhood through this distribution, and then also like uh, an acts like an additional uh, urban space in a way. Huh? And even you can recombine, uh, rethink the urbanistic slab of uh, uh, takings uh, from historical learning from Louis Kahn and uh, understanding that extracting a historical trajectory and reorganize the urbanistic slab into 
uh, multiple layers for usability, adding it to the building, opening it from the interior, placing more uh, shared uh, private diversities, uh, several examples of our design studios, even coming back to composition, taking to the large scales a frame in framing project, simple comp compositional aspects where the interior and exterior in large scale can uh, merge. So urban aspects uh, can embrace as well public space in itself. So it, if we see in a context of existing, the huge density can embrace public spaces as well to be open building and uh, to expose the living in the air, to experiment with such a large scale using small scale uh, elements. We experiment with that and in the exhibition we also exposed a student uh, results from some students, our design studios with student work where you can see the scaling up even the terrace in itself, evaluating it according to the light condition and the overlap here brings us program diversity. So for, for a computer, for a machine, each terrace gets equal light condition and the overlaps produce the diversity of uh, pub public private shared uh, situations. So every gap here uh, brings the light in and it's possible to live in the air, uh, to live in cloud. Uh, actually, what's also beautiful, what looks so complex for you as a human, is actually super dumb for a computer. No? So it's actually like staying in the sun conditions so on, of course, it's like to compute is like the, the mo one of the most simplest form what what is. No? But of course, like, we are interested how you can use that actually for un what unfolds in like a new spatial paradigm. No? What kind of urban forms you can produce which are radically different then and turn into like a, a new in a way like livable environment. Yeah, that's I think is for today. Thank you. Thank you.